Holding some balanced vibrations. Oh, nice. Trust you well. Vibing and resonance at top speeds. Yes, yes. I'm Curtis Haru, the reflection of you. And I am Danielle. Danny Cosmos, everybody. Danny Cosmos. And we got Omulao probably maybe in now. Oh, actually, you can see him right down there. <laughs> All right, so jumping in today, sharing some vibe. What's in resonance? When it's in resonance? And today, resonant colors are red. A little pink. Uh, you know, we all feel in the cosmos. And today we just had a dial in about the portals and and, and cosmic energy. Exactly. We're going to start with the cosmic energy, you know, dialing more with that. So, with the cosmic calendar, the cosmic energy, it allows us and it gives us the tools or resources to keep the resonance of the current day. Right. right. <clears throat> so, that's frequencies, crystals, herbs, colors. Uh, territories, mm -hmm. Chakra. uh, chakras, um, you can tie that into the mudras, the planetary structures, the numerology, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. the specific frequencies on Mulao, mm -hmm. Abana, Abana. <laughs> all right, so all these things are like accoutrements that allow you to tie into, dial into the frequency of the moment. You don't have to wear every single thing, be swimming in the terrain of the plains or the meadows or the rivers, um, but you can visually, well, visualize those visualize things them. within your meditation at that, that moment or that day and allows you to bring you closer to the resonance. Um, same thing with the, the, uh, the stones. I think today is, um, <laughs> today is um, red coral. Um, and the metal is iron, right. and that's just for today is Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday. Uh, Mars Day, no, Noble Protector Day, not the warrior, not the warrior, but those who can stand in a threshold and not be weary, not be you know, stressed out, not be uh, ruled by anxiety, you know, right. you're ready, you got this, flow with the resonance by, you know, rocking on the accoutrements, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and moving forward and saying that, Oh, we're going to need this cord to keep it going. We're going to need you just to come. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> and we, um, we keep this raw. We ain't editing nothing. <laughs> oh, <not. laughs> no, no, no. So, um, within the portal, allows you to find the space. Again, your, your, let's say, everything is energy, everything is frequency. And everything has its own error, its own energetic field that it produces from, from the internal source. Right. And this gives you, let's say, if you had to visualize, visualize this, you can imagine like toroidal fields right. uh, come around everything you have from your stone. Again, you got a little field coming around that from the frequency that you're listening to. It adds to, to your frequency. <laughs> to your frequency. Um, the, the metals, it gives off its own frequency. <laughs> and, and everything you have, it amplifies. This it is gives, real life. This is real life. <laughs> we give, it gives you those spaces, that feel. So then your aura is strong and your aura is in resonance because in its overtones and undertones of that same field of resonance. So it's like a chord for those who uh, can visualize a tone or play it on the piano or the frequency being played, a harp. Like it's like a sound uh, bath or sound barrier, a frequency barrier that you begin to walk with because this thing is, this thing, these, are, these things are a part of you. They're right. your, Accoutrements. They're the colors you're wearing. They're the tones that you're speaking. Right. Um, there's typically, if you ever sung in like a group before, like a choir or anything, and like some you've seen somebody like, or you were the person like, close your ears so you can hear the sound, mm -hmm. so I can get on beat. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm on frequency right. because somebody next to you may not be there. It might be off tone deaf or the tone deaf. Exactly. <laughs> so you you keep the resonance within yourself, and once you tune yourself to that frequency of the day, today is um, 11:52. So that's. 11,152 hertz frequency, and you hear that tone. Tune to it. Mm, do a little tone. Da 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 da. If you could, and just dial into that space. And it doesn't have to be playing all day. So, like this morning when you posted it, I just I played it for maybe about a minute mm -hmm. and just got myself in line. And mm -hmm. I would go back to it mm -hmm. if I if I felt myself getting off balance. But it didn't have to constantly be playing. You don't have to be drenched in the colors mm -hmm. of the day. It's just almost a reminder to bring yourself to center, not necessarily, mm -hmm. because it's you that you're balancing. These things are not, not necessarily bringing you into balance. You should, you should have that balance and master that balance, and they help you come back to center and back to balance. Mm -hmm. 
back to the source. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And speaking of source, uh, today I got to build with uh, the tribe, uh, Sister Wijby, and uh, some of the brothers. And um, we talked about the portal and actually how, you know, I think we talked about it in the last tribe vibes that too. Mm -hmm. It was um, talking about the sun being a portal, the sun being in Draja, and how the sun is that portal. You know, so, and when you think about portals, um, things that are coming out of the portal, let's say it's a gushing river coming out. It's, it's tough to go upstream. Like, you can receive from that, but it's tough to realize or get get that information or that, that, that force coming from there and go back in and dive into that same space and saying that, um, I think on the last build, they talk about how the sky and the stars and the stars being like teeny portals mm -hmm. uh, on the blackness as you see the cosmos behind us. Like, every star is a portal and you find in your own star, your own resonance to find your way back to the portal to get to the next space because we're all moving towards something and staying in that now moment into that that straight and narrow keeps your keeps your ship or your vessel on that path and um the sun is being one of those biggest portals that are within our reality and uh, even the Dogon talks about you know, the sun and that's that same space and what we was diving into it was that because i again Everything happens in resonance. Mm -hmm. And understanding these spaces is our ability to share with each other in real time and actually taking those lessons and incorporating them within ourselves so we don't necessarily have to go through the experience right. by, you know, dialing into someone else's experience and really feeling that person with compassion. And, okay, I can see how that, that's their reality. This is what they went through. This is what they did to get to that place. And now that they're here, that means that we have some kind of correlation that ties us together. And we were just talking about that with um, Chappie and oh, yeah, um, yeah. Geraldo, just being transparent from the jump, like mm -hmm. in this space, learning from each other, um, being real with each other from the very beginning, mm -hmm. because there's so much to learn and we're all here at the same time for a reason. And it makes no sense if you've gone through something and I'm right, going through it right, for right. me to have to experience the whole thing again when right. we're connected. Um, right. Let me learn your lessons, use your wisdom to, exactly. my, to my benefit and keep it moving. Right. In real time. So again, now those who are really not in the, uh, the tribe <coughs> vibe, not tribe vibe, the ambassador chat or um, some of our chats, we connected with a family from a tribe um, in Tampa, not Tampa, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, Aquala, Aquala. Near Aquala. Oh, yeah. In Aquala, Aquala, Florida. I ain't gonna top up the name no more. Right. Uh, but yeah, we connected with them there and then walking them up with open arms. And, uh -huh. and we got to build in real time. And, and baby like, same age. Baby same age. Mm -hmm. Baby Zen. <laughs> baby Zen. So Baby Zen and Baby Om. So Om I was like, we got Zen and Om together. This is a match uh, made in perfection. So. In this space, we it was no we dropped. There was no walls. Like it was this straight raw. This is who we are. Let's connect right here in this moment. Because there was things we discussed that was some typically or previous relationship of mine. People wouldn't share certain things to like they get to know you three months in, you know, a year in, and all the space to to feel you out. With, with the tribe, we realized it's just like. We've been through that process, like, and then somehow we understand that space that we're in within this tribe. Right. It's no coincidence that we're together. So holding back who we are from each other only delays in the world of us making that connection anyway. Right. So that's the and I, I also want to, in all honesty, also discern it though. It's, yes. it's not everybody. So you you trust your instincts, you trust your gut. Mm -hmm. um, I think Paige touched on this a little bit before, but you have to have discernment with who you let in the filters, the screen doors, mm -hmm. the brick walls. Um, but when you genuinely connect, there mm -hmm. are no filters. When you mm -hmm. genuinely connect, uh, soul to soul, heart mm -hmm. to heart, mm -hmm. um, there's no time to play. You know, exactly. <laughs> we got things to build. We have we have moves to make. So let's mm -hmm. let's do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And even the certain things you can talk about, you know, and then the response to those things mm -hmm. led you to to other conversations. Right. And, uh, that's actually taught me to uh, say Capoeira. Like, <laughs> you seeing where the best opening to make this line of communication, because mm -hmm. commu communication is an art. And you can tell when somebody's not, you know, communi communicating properly or within, let's say, doing the same dance. It's a quote we do when we do um, our book beats with, um, with the kids that says that you can you can tell a lot but you can't dance a lot. Mm -hmm. So your body really tells you how you 
within the communication, the body language that you're receiving, being facial expressions or the openness or like cross arm versus open arm, the smiles versus frown, mm -hmm. you can really see, okay, this is the, the immediate future. I'm like one of the people it's hard to like hide like <laughs> facial expressions and communications. So you really express the rawness of it and you get that with the, within the communication and it's transparent. And um, we also is dealing with um, uh, uh, transition my family. Uh, transitioning within, um, well, my, my cousin transitioned mm -hmm. uh, within the last couple of days and we just um, laid in the rest a couple of days ago. Uh, well, actually, on Sunday. Today is Tuesday. And the uh, closest thing I have to a brother, but through this experience, it allowed me to, <laughs> uh, allowed me to dial into the portal, you know, the exit, you know, that's what I said, exit, or the next, next level, next step, right. like firsthand, because I got to feel my cousin as he, transition and went to this new space and was there for him to aid him into getting into the new space where it has no um, clarity outside of entropy and for me that was extremely healing the experiences I had going into the space where he was um, in the state of confusion and, and where going through the anniversary and going through secret energy and intuitively taking that information and apply it within self and then using my inner conscious inner self my higher self with the help of a beautiful space mm -hmm. prepared at the house, um, we have an ancestral space, uh, which is extremely important to have, like right. right? uh, a space where you can sacred, a sacred, sacred space, space. Right. Yeah. and even welcoming um, your cousin through the womb. You know, um, trusting your energy. Mm -hmm. So again, discernment, but trusting your energy to welcome him into our space through the womb. So mm -hmm. um, that's important. Exactly. That's important. Exactly. So in that space, like you said, um, within my experience, again, it's a lot to break down, uh, but. I actually ask for, within my intuitive intuitiveness, uh, ask for a passage, safe passage for him and us through the womb as I went into this space, I said another, to grab him and bring him forward or into a new space and where I got to really communicate with the inner self, with the divine feminine within myself to directly connect to the source because we all have all have a connection to source. We're spirits of, of the one, let's say, of my favorite image is the Dyson sphere. How are you looking? So in that time, just yeah. So, uh, so we working on um. Oh, oh, oh he's about to start hearing his voice now. <laughs> uh, so, uh, dialing into the space where uh, we are allowed. It's raw frequencies and shapes right there. Raw frequencies. RJ. Everybody see the resonance? It's RJ back here. Oh, this <laughs> and it's red, red, pink. We're here. We're here. So, actively dialing into, <laughs> actively dialing into these basic resonances. Okay. Actively dialing into the space when it's in the resonance. Well, you keep the resonance and trust in your gnosis. You know, intuitively feeling. <laughs> intuitively feeling where it needs to be done and not having Close doubt with you. Close to the door. Don't play the door. <laughs> Not having a uh, doubt within self when making these movements within within the spirit. And uh, again, all these experiences has been manifested through us, but we've had different tetherings through our reality that, that allows us to wake up to the alarms you know, that's going on. Like certain things you got to pay attention to, certain signs within the cosmos that allows you to see like, well, this is more, we're more than the day of the day. much videos because again it was my want to be perfect perfection in it <laughs> we would never I, we would never be posted especially not together <laughs> but the, the rawness it just got to be shown and um and we think that's important for the transparency mm -hmm. to know that again it's we just got to share yeah. and that the beauty of that is is just the rawness of it we got to share we got to understand each other and know this how this is this, i'm the reflection of you right and uh and i think it's important to see because a lot of us have families and it's just 
you know, you may see one side of an edited video or something, and, and it seems impossible that you can get an edited video, but this is what, you know, Curtis puts a lot of videos out. This is what he goes through. It's like hours when you get a complete video um, with us not even in the room, so. It's not, it's, this is our perfection, you know. Indeed. It may not look like perfection, but this is, this is our perfection for sure. This is it. <laughs> Indeed. I said. <laughs> you want to add anything?